So I have here a data set of real estate prices, actual real estate prices. We have 402 observations, and we're going to take a minute to generate the summary statistics. I'm going to use the data analysis tool pack under the data tab. If your data tab does not have a data analysis tool pack, you'll need to add it. Um, you can click on the link to see how to do that. Once it is installed, you will find it again under the data tab and over here to the far right. Clicking on the data analysis button, um, we're going to grab descriptive statistics. You will see there are a bunch of other operations that Excel will do. Once the data analysis tab is added, we are going to be looking again at descriptive statistics. Clicking OK, it's asking for my input range. I will click on the pop out button and on my top data label, hitting control shift right and down. I will highlight the labels and all of the data. If there are any breaks in your data, the highlighting will stop at the break, so you want to clean those up. Popping back into the descriptive statistics menu, I will then indicate labels because I've selected those and I will tell it that I want my output to be in a new worksheet. And finally, what I'm looking for here is the summary statistics table. Clicking OK will generate what's really a pretty hideous table. Um, I'm going to go through the process of cleaning this up for you here in the next couple of minutes. So uh, clicking on A1, I'm going to right click and say insert, shift cells to the right, and that's going to put the labels above the results. Uh, this means that I have all of these useless copied labels from the rows that talk about what the result is. So I'm just going to click on each one and hit delete. And once those are all cleared out, I'm going to then hit control and click on all of the letters. And I'm going to create nice little border columns here of width one. And then selecting all of the results I will, hitting control and selecting all the results, I will double click to make those columns wide enough. Now, there are a lot of decimals being used here. We'll clean that up in a second. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of the lesser used results. By right clicking and hitting D, I will delete the standard error, um, median, mode, once you have the standard deviation, the variance doesn't much matter. Uh, kurtosis and skewness, I won't need those. Um, here we have mean, standard deviation, range, minimum, maximum, sum, and count. Uh, keep what you want, get rid of what you don't need. And I'm going to go in here now and go to the Home tab and reduce my decimals down to a reasonable three. Uh, Price per square foot is a currency, so I'll probably take all those down to two. Uh, sales price is the same way. And what we've gone over here is a really fast way to generate a lot of a lot of results: uh, mean, standard deviation, range, min, max, sum, count. And these are typical results that you'll want to look at when analyzing a data set. So just looking at the results here, I'm going to add some commas. There we go. So the average sale price was $142,400. Uh, the standard deviation of the sales price was about $83,000. Um, the minimum sale price was $5,000. The maximum $492,000 in the area under concern. Price per square foot on average was 73, 71, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So if you need to generate these results for a whole bunch of variables, or even just for one variable, there's no need to use all the independent functions. You can generate them all at once using the, under the data tab, data analysis, descriptive statistics uh, function. Thanks for watching, and I hope that this helped.